Hey guys, it's Lana Blake from Redefine Horizons, and this is the second video in a set of videos that I'm doing that kind of teach you how we do invoicing here at Redefine Horizons. Uh, as I mentioned in the last video, I think we have beautiful invoices, and uh, we try to make sure that our invoices are clear and that, that we're communicating well with the client. So, one of the things we do, let me stop. In the last video, we prepared the actual invoice. One of the things we do to try and communicate well with our clients about billing is we try and always provide them with a, every time we send them an invoice, we send them a, a budget summary so they can see where they're at uh, on the overall budget for the project. Okay. So uh, we already have a sheet, a budget summary sheet for this project. Uh, so you can see it here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and, and I made a copy of this already, we're going to go ahead and update this. So this is now the first invoice in January. Okay. All this information here stays the same. Okay, and then we're going to come down here so you can see this was the first invoice. Okay, now we're going to add our second invoice. So you, you end up with a row for each invoice essentially. invoice number okay so we didn't bill anything here so I'm just gonna give it three dashes hey guys it's Landon Blake with Redefine Horizons and this is the second video in the set of videos I'm doing on uh, billing here at Redefine Horizons and how we do billing. I know it's a really exciting topic, <laughs> but we got to make our house payment. So uh, in the last video, I showed you how we put together the invoice. In this video, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to put together what we call the budget, uh, the budget summary sheet. So on this project, because I'm working for a sub and we're actually, I'm not working for a sub, I'm a sub to the main uh, to the main client who's working for the project owner. Uh, we're not going to be putting together our budget summary sheet. We're going to be putting together the budget summary sheet for uh, our client that he gives to the owner. So, And I've got a couple clients um, that are like that where we actually handle the billing for them uh, because we're just a full service firm like that. So here's the invoice that he's going to send to the client. So this has my my charges for the invoice I showed you in the first video plus his, so he's tacking on this 1500 bucks here. And uh, so this is his video, uh, or excuse me, his invoice done in Inkscape as well. Okay, so what we want to do is, is we want to, every time we send an invoice, we also send the client an invoice summary sheet. I'm sorry, a budget summary sheet. So let's go look at, look at that and we'll get it updated based on this invoice. So I'm doing the budget summary sheet in Inkscape as well. Okay, so here's what it looks like. It's 11 by 17, uh, same kind of format. I have one for Redefine Horizons. It looks a lot like this. but uh, So this information here doesn't need to change, but we need to go ahead and update the invoice number. So this will be 2020-01-001, first invoice of January. Okay, and then here across the top I have the tasks. So this actually has six tasks. And we're actually, uh, we need to come in and add a couple tasks. So let's do that first. So we're gonna grab this. And we're gonna duplicate it, move it over. And so we got task seven, which is the lot line adjustment. Okay, and I should have copied these two. Okay, and then we got task eight and task eight A that need to get copied. And I'm probably not gonna have enough room for those. Okay, so what I'm gonna do on this 
because I'm probably going to just move these. Uh... <laughs> Hang on a second, my dogs are barking. All right, so I can move these to another sheet. Uh, I can do a second sheet, but you can see I've got a couple of these tasks that are already 100% complete. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and we're going to take out task one and task three because those are complete. We'll put a note on there that says that. Okay, so actually what we want to do here is we just want to renumber these. So we got task two. Uh, then we're going to have task three. Nope, task three is 100% complete, so we're going to have task four. Let's see, task six. So we're not going to do task four or five. Yeah, you know what? I'm not going to do it that way. I want I want to go ahead and I'm going to I want to leave that for the client. So let's go ahead and leave it in there. I'm a little bit indecisive. So that means we're going to need a second sheet. So uh, we will set up our second sheet here in a minute. So let's just worry about the ones we got. So now we're going to go ahead and uh, we added our our tasks across the top. Now we want to add our row for this next invoice so each invoice gets its own row. Okay, and I actually there's I need to fix that invoice number. That was 2019-11, first invoice in November. Okay, so this time we've got the first invoice of January 2020. Okay, so we didn't bill anything here, so we're just gonna delete that because those are 100 percent complete. I'm going to come back to this one. i got to remember if we finish task two. Task four, we're not doing. I'm just going to leave those in there. Task six is TNM. I don't have anything to bill this time, though. So we're going to say... We're going to zero this guy out. Okay. And actually, this text should get adjusted. Okay, and then task seven is not TNM. So we didn't have a task seven the first time we sent an invoice, so that's going to be blank. And then down here, we're going to say, all right, task seven, which is the lot line adjustment, we said was 85% complete. Okay, and let me just remind you where we're getting that information from. So if you look at our invoice, we're just updating the sheet to reflect this latest invoice we're going to send. So you can see right here, 85% complete task seven, okay, which is 6120, and I don't have my comma in there. I need to fix that. So, okay, so the dollar amount is going to be 6120. Okay, now let's see if uh, we got to come back and check on task two. I'm not sure if we finished that other 20%. I can't remember. So let's go grab our contract and take a look at that. Okay, so task two was the subject parcel boundary and the easement mapping. We were waiting on some of the easements and we did finish that. So I'm gonna go ahead and build that to 100% uh, uh, complete. All right, so we got to do that math. Okay, so let's look at what our fee was. I should have grabbed that while it was open. So our fee for two was 86. Okay, so we're going to take 20% of 86. So I need 1720 on that one. So that's going to take us to 100% complete. Okay. Task 3 is 100% complete, so there's nothing there. Task 4 we're not doing. Task 5 we're not doing. Task 6 TNM, I didn't have any TNM time. We had a little bit of time, a few hours, but I'm not billing the client for that small amount. Okay, and then task 7 was not TNM. This is task 8A. 
Okay, so task seven, time of materials uh, was not. That's not right. It. Uh, so we, what we want to know. So it wasn't. We didn't have task seven here when we started this. So we're gonna delete that. Okay. So task seven was a lot line adjustment. We called it 85% complete. I put that in the wrong spot, didn't I? I put it over here. It needs to be over here. Okay. And that's 6120. Okay, then we have task 8A, okay, which was the uh, underground utility mapping, the mark and locate work we did, and that was 100% complete, this invoice. Okay, so we're going to make that 100% complete, and we just want to remember how much was it. So let's go look at that invoice again. Okay, so it was $7,000. Okay, so we're going to update this. Okay. And then we want to go ahead and total that and bring this uh, dollar amount down. This total down here, so we're going to have a new total. And this line got put in the wrong spot there. Okay, so let's add, whoop, I hate it when I do that, yeah, Inkscape's got this thing now that lets you rotate the screen, alright, okay, so let's total these across the, across the row here. And I don't like to do this math in my head because I don't want to mess up the bill. So I'm going to just pull that on my other screen here. So we've got uh, 1720 for task 2. Plus we've got uh, 6120 for task 7. Plus we got 7000. Okay. So that's 148. And actually, this total now has to move, actually. So um, here's what we're going to do on this. We are going to save this, and then we are going to save as, and we got to go to a second sheet here. Okay, so I'm going to put sheet two. Okay, and uh, so now we're going to have sheet two. So this is going to be we're going to make this task. Oop. Task 8B, that's what we didn't have room for on the other sheet. Okay, and. Okay, we're gonna just leave these blank because uh, we don't have these tasks yet. We only go up to 8B, so then our total is gonna be here. Okay. So, and let's, uh, we need to shorten up these invoice names, so I'm going to just take out the job number so those fit. Okay. We'll do that on the other sheet, too. Okay, so task, sorry, this needs to be task AB right here. Okay, so... That's as high as we go, task 8B. And that was the survey of the utility marks. And that is 1500. And it's 100% uh, complete. Oop, not 5015. All right, so we also want to update these totals down here. So this is going to be 1500. So now we're adding down the column. So we build 1500 to this guy. Okay, and then we don't have anything here that we build. So these are going to be blank for now. Okay, and we got to go update these on our other sheet too. Okay, nothing here. Okay, remaining work is zero. Contract budget was 15. So we just want to let them know, did we come in on budget? Yeah, remaining budget's zero. 
Okay. Okay, now we do want to come over here and tell them uh, we applied the deposit and there's nothing left in the deposit. Okay, so they know that they're out of their deposit. Okay, and then we'll come back, we'll update this in a minute, these totals here. So let's go back and clean up our other sheet. So we're going to save this. And then we're going to come in here and we're going to make this sheet one. Rename this to sheet one. Okay, so we're not going to have the totals on this sheet because we moved them to sheet two, so we're going to delete these. Same thing down here. This is all going to get deleted. It's on sheet two now. Same thing down here. Okay, so then we're going to just update these totals. Let's uh, shrink up these invoice names real quick so they fit. Okay, so if we didn't bill anything on the second part, the second invoice here, then these totals aren't going to change. So these are going to stay the same. Sorry, task one's going to stay the same. Now we did. We did bill another seventeen hundred dollars here, so now this total is going to be—it's uh, going to be whatever the budget total was, which I believe was eighty-six. Uh, so let me just check that math. It doesn't look right. Calc. So we got sixty-eight plus seventeen twenty as eighty-five twenty. So I goofed something up here. So this should be, let me double check that contract. So I told you, you know, you go back and forth between the uh, the contract docs and the billing docs sometimes. So 86. So what we got here is uh, 86. So we've got 1600 is what this should be. I'm trying to overcharge my client. Let's see. Damn, better do that math. 8,600 minus 68. You can tell it's the end of the day. 1,800. Okay. Okay, so that brings us to the budget of 86. That's why it's nice to have these total two ways across and down because you catch little math mistakes like that. Okay, remaining work on this is now zero. We build it to budget. There's nothing left to do. Okay, initial contract budget was 86, remaining budget is now zero. Okay. Task four, nothing to change. Or task three, nothing to change. Four and five, nothing to change. Six, we didn't bill anything, nothing to change. Okay, so task seven now, we need to copy these over. Because these are new tasks. Ooh. Okay, so we build 6120. And it's the first time we build, so that's the total. Okay, and this does have a percent complete, so it's not TM, it's lump sum. And we're saying this is 85% complete. And our contract budget was 72. Okay, so what do we have left? We're giving ourselves 1,000. Eighty to finish up the comments from the city. Okay, and then same thing here. Task 8A was a lump sum. I'm not getting my right 
that snap there. Okay, so that was 100% complete at seven grand. So the total that we're billing, because this is the first time it's being billed, is going to be seven. Oh, something happened here. Let's try and ungroup those. Nope, that's not what we want either. All right, that text got messed up. Let's try this again. Edit, duplicate. Something happened. I don't know what happened there. Those shouldn't all be pink either. Well, let me change those colors. Yeah. Alright, let's try this text over here. Now I'm getting my text snaps. having a hard time with this. There we go. Okay, so this task number 8A will build into 100% complete. Okay, which was 7 grand was our budget. Okay, uh, budget remaining is 0. So what this is telling the client is uh, this is the total we've billed here on the job for each of these tasks. Okay, this is how much work is left. This is uh, what the initial contract budget was. This is how much budget is left. So this number is actually not right. So the remaining work on this one is 15%. I don't know what happened to that text. Okay, so how much do we have left? We have 15% here. Okay, so the numbers we want to remember for the next sheet, we want we want this total over here. So we've got 1,800, 61, 20, and seven. So let's just add those up. 1,800, 61, 20, and. and Seven. Okay, so we got fourteen nine twenty that we're billing on this sheet. So we're going to save this, and we'll save it as a PDF real quick. Okay, then we'll go finish sheet two. Okay, so the important thing over here on sheet two is we've got uh, 14920, then we're billing another 1500. So we'll add 1500 to that, and I'll have all these numbers checked. So what we're going to bill is 16, what we're charging the client for, when it's not what we're going to bill is 16420. Okay, but you can see right here, oh, let's fix these 1500, zero initial contract budget was 1500. Okay, remaining budget zero. Now you can see right here we're applying 50% of the deposit. Okay, so total amount of lump sum task build to date. So we need to update these uh, numbers. Let's get that text squared up. alignment thing I'll fix here in a minute. So total amount of lump sum build the date, okay? So we built 1420 last time and we're billing everything we're billing this time is lump sum. So we got 14200 plus 16420. Okay, so that's 3620. So this is going to change to 3620. So this is just letting the client know, "Hey, here's what we've billed you so far on this job, right? We're trying to be transparent." 
3620 is what we've billed you. Time and materials hasn't changed. That's what we build to date. Lump sum budget remaining. Okay, so what we've got now, this is going to change now because we added a couple lump sum tasks. So we've got that little bit that's left on task 7. So let's go look at sheet 1. Okay, we've got the little bit that's left on, so what we want is remaining budget. So we've got nine grand here, we got 10 eight, 10 80, ten thousand eighty dollars. Okay, so that's what's left. Okay. So we got ten eight left. Okay, and we probably won't bill uh nine grand of that because we're not gonna end up doing four and five, but I'm gonna let the client know that's what we have currently under contract. Okay, so we're just about done here. I just got to fix, fix this uh, text alignment error. So let me pause the video and do that. All right, so we've got the text fixed. Okay, so now we've got our, two, our second sheet done. So we're going to go ahead and save that. Okay, and then we'll just look at those two. Okay, so here's our invoice here's our first summary sheet and then we've got our second summary sheet with the task 8b that we had to add we're just running out of room for all the tasks and I'll have a couple more tasks on this job so this will get longer and then here we've got our totals here and our totals on the bottom okay so this is just a summary sheet to let the client know hey here's what we build you Right, so every invoice gets a row. They can see what work's been done, how much is left to do, did we make budget, yes or no, how much work is left, here's what we've billed you to date, here's how, here's how much we can potentially bill you in the future under our contract budget. So it's just a transparency thing, trying to be good communicators, right? Okay, this video is getting a little long, but once you fill the sheet out, I realize, hey, I made a mistake. Um, I still got $1,800 I need to bill them on task two. So let's go fix that on our invoice real quick, and then we'll end the video. So we're going to close this because we're going to overwrite it. So let's open up that invoice. All right, so what we want to do here is we want to go in now and say, all right, we've got an, an extra task to add. Keep moving this stuff up and down. Driving me bonkers. Uh, we got room it looks like so let's just add it so what we're gonna do actually is we're gonna move these down and then we're gonna take this row up because it's task I believe it's task 3 we're gonna double check yeah it's our task uh, nope task 2 we got $1800 on so we're gonna say I don't know why it's, it's, it's like making that not text, which is really weird. Oh, there we go. Okay, task two. Okay, and we're going to tell the client what this is. This is boundary resolution and easement mapping. Okay, which is now 100% complete. Okay. And we are billing eighteen hundred dollars of that. So, and I realized I was missing a comma here too. So let's fix that. Okay, but now because we added that eighteen hundred dollars, all our totals are going to change. So let's go fix that. So let's just double check our math here. So we've got eighteen hundred plus sixty one twenty plus seven thousand plus fifteen hundred. 16,420, which uh, sounds like what I would get if I did it in my head. Okay, but we're applying their $5,000 deposit. Okay, so we got 16,420 minus 5,000, leaves them with 11,420. So that's what we're actually going to bill them after we apply their deposit. Okay, and I know all you guys are good businessmen, so you're always getting deposits. All right, so. Invoice total is going to be eleven four twenty. Okay. 
Now, because we're helping our client, save this. Because we're doing the billing for our client on this one, we also have to go in and update our billing. Our invoice to the client. Okay, so let's go do that real quick. So we're going to go find our invoice, RH invoices, 2020. We're not going to do a budget summary because the client can. Our client can see that on the budget summary that we're doing for them. Okay, so we got to add that that 20% on task two is what we're going in here to add. Okay, so we're going to add that here. So these need to move down one row. Okay. I messed that up. Task two, I want to go at the top. I want the tasks out of order, so we're going to drop that down like that and then copy this row up. Okay, so this is going to be task two. And this is going to be boundary resolution and easement mapping. Okay, and we are billing him. Now, he's doing some peer review on this, so I'm not going to bill him that full amount. So we had, I think it was 1,800 bucks. Yeah, so I'm going to give him 400 bucks of that because he's doing some peer review for me, and I want to make sure he gets paid. So we're going to make that 1,400. Now our totals change, though, so we're going to add these three numbers here. So we got 1400 plus 6120 plus 7000. Okay, so this becomes 14520, which makes sense. We're adding 1400 bucks. We're going to apply the deposit. So we got 14520, our share of the deposit. So we got 14520 minus our share of the deposit, which is 3250. So we're going to send him a bill for eleven two seventy. Okay, and we want to try and get this on the sec uh, on the tenth of February. So I'm going to try and ask for payment. Okay. So that looks good. So we'll zoom extents. Save this, save the PDF. Okay, so again, just to review, so we've got to do two sets of invoices on this job. So we've got our invoice for the client, which is this one. Let's just look at it in the PDF here. So here's our invoice to the client, okay, for 11270. Then we've got the, um, let me go back up here. Then we've got the client's invoice to the project owner, okay, for eleven four twenty. Okay. Then we've got the budget summary sheet, sheet one. Okay, lets the client know where they're at. They get a row for each invoice, tasks and the scope are across the top. Sheet two, because we're at task eight B, and we'll plop some more in here as this project develops. Okay, and then we come over here and we total so this number better match their, uh, you know, this number minus this better match their total invoice. So let's just go check that. Okay, so the total invoice we've got here, 16,420 minus 5 is 11,420. Okay, and that matches these numbers, 16,420 and 5, so we're good. All right, so that's what we're going to send. I know that was that was painful. That was a 30-minute video. I'm probably going to break that up into three chunks because this was way too long. But now you can see what we do. All right, got our redefined horizons invoice. Got our client invoice that's going to the project owner, and then got the budget summary sheet that's going to go to the project owner as well. So we try and do a good job communicating with our clients on our billing, and uh, I think we've got attractive invoices and attractive uh, budget summary sheets. And so we're, you know this will also go with the cover letter, which I'll I'll probably do another video and I'll I'll show you guys the cover letter. All right, guys, I, thanks for watching. I appreciate it.